Here in the Lightning Web Components Developer Guide, we have the event propagation documentation, and we have bubbles and composed, which are two types of properties that can be added to any new event that is created within a Lightning Web Component. First one, bubbles, we're going to take a look at. Bubbles allows us to propagate an event up the DOM or not. So basically, this is when you are within a singular Lightning Web component and you want to choose whether or not the event could be handled directly on a property or uh, up the DOM document tree. And I'll show you a little bit about what that means over here in our playground. So here, uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I have an account list and it has an iterative display of available accounts and each of them has a component within it called account card. And that handler for adding or removing the account from the selected accounts list, which is handled in the account list controller, is attached directly to the card. We can see that when we click the button here, the event that's generated inside of the card here with the account name is passed directly up to the parent and it is handled by attaching the event handler directly to the card. But what happens if we take the event handler and move it up one level in the DOM within the account list component is basically now nothing is happening, the button is toggling, but the selected accounts list is not being updated because that happens inside of the account list. And what we can do to change this here is add the bubbles property, set it equal to true on our handler here, and now that will affect our ability to handle the event somewhere else inside of the document tree. See, this div is a parent all the way up here of the account card. So now the event is propagating properly, even though the listener is not attached directly to the card. So it cuts down on the amount of code we have to use. And we can handle different types of events uh, all the way down the tree here. And we can see we can even go further up all the way to this article attribute in the DOM, the event is still being handled. Now what happens if we add it to this div, which is actually, we can see, is a sibling of the div that contains the account card. So with that inside of there, now we hit add. Nothing happens because it's a sibling. We're propagating up the DOM tree through the parents here and we don't get any further than basically this template tag because we are just bubbling. We are not traversing outside of the shadow DOM that contains this component. So this is a container. And the event will propagate all the way up the tree here, but it will stop at the threshold of the parent component where the event is generated. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Lightning Web Components content.